Cool. So now we have an app. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to, let's look at our list of items. Uh, let's yeah, let's build list. that out. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a palette and make like a custom theme. Yes. Um, for this. So, all right. So what do you, what do you, what do you have in mind for like a theme? This was the thing I, I was telling you about. Oh, so if you, Slack, if, yeah. let's use this as a, as a case. So this is actually not Slack. If you're wondering, this is a, a Chakra UI application. <laughs> and I tried to make it look like the Slack homepage. As much as possible. Looks so. Uh, (laughs) Yeah, I tried to um to even do like the the favicon just to like throw everyone off, you know, (laughs) so you can see. Very very close, very similar. Um, I can almost not see the difference. My gosh. Yeah. Uh, This is so good. So. uh, yeah, this was, this was really interesting. So what I did was um, I just took like a few colors, a few things that I noticed made this brand like stand out, yeah. um, which are like the colors and the, um, the, you know, like the, mostly the colors really and the typography, the fonts in particular were also interesting, the choice of fonts. Um, so yeah, so for our job application, did you have like a, a palette in mind or something that you wanted to, some yeah. colors you, you, so I want, I want us to definitely go with green. Um, when I was doing my um, startup school thing, people say green mm-hmm. uh, communicates reliability and mm-hmm. um, yeah, good vibes basically. So let's go with green. I, I, we definitely need a green and um, okay. and a black, Dope. like black. <laughs> All right. All right. And, and for cool. an accent, right. uh, we have, we have... I don't know what do we yeah. think for an accent. So we have green, black, and what would make sense for an accent. All right. So for colors, we have uh, green, we have black, um, maybe like a color that complements green. I'm thinking maybe like a purple or something. I don't know. Yeah. Something simple. Right? Purple. purple um, nice. All right. So I, I, I opened Twitter. The reason why I opened Twitter is because somebody recently made a nice app that I liked. Okay. Um, her name is Maya. Let's see. Maya Shavin. Oh, uh, Maya Shabin, please don't open the wrong. No, oh, it opened the wrong. Maya. Yeah. Oh, did Maya make that uh, um, color color picker or something? Yeah, she she did. She made an, a nice color picker app that I, I thought was really cool. Um, that I would like to try out today. So Maya, if you're watching this, um, we're gonna we're gonna use your app. Uh, let's see if you see it before me. Stop All me right. from scrolling. I'll let you know. Not yet. Ooh la 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 la. Ooh la 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 la. Not yet. Colors generators. There it is. Okay. Palette it generators. Is. Nice. Um, so I think it acts. I think it accepts like an image, right? Mm-hmm. And then it will give you like a like a palette of sort. Oh. So what I would like to do is to find like a shade of purple so do you see this on this page where it says purge do you see the curly brackets could you go back Uh, where is it yeah exactly right here purge down yeah i think that yes right here the curly brackets next to purge the purge definition the purge property oh oh, okay 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 oh you mean these guys yeah the purple in those i see it looks really nice I think mm-hmm. it goes with green. Okay. So I'll get my color, my color, digital color meter and try to, do you think you can memorize these values? We have an R of 134. 134, 61, 42. Yes. Yeah. 134, 61, 142. Yep. Cool. So how to do that in here i don't think there's a way to accept like one color all right then i'm sorry maya uh i think okay there's another alternative app that i know okay um i think it's called smart swatch netlify um yeah so i can so what we can do is do you still you have the color codes yeah 134 so you had to convert okay. these to hex. So RGB, 134. 
to hex. Will Google actually Can give Google us back? This? Nah. Ah, uh, no, very, some are close. 134, this is blue as 61. Anyway, it's fine. Let's, let's try this up. Um, Let me actually try that. that okay. Work. It should be relatively simple. 134, how do you, is there no like good app, a simple app that you can use to just like change values? Um, just search. Okay, let me just try and see if I can uh, convert this. Oh, okay, I think I found it. 61. Oh, right, gosh. Fine. 61. <laughs> yeah. And 142. Ah, this is the shade of purple that we want. Yes. Awesome. Cool. Is this the... All right, that's it. This is the hex value. So we'll come back to a smart swatch. And... Whoa. Awesome. Cool. So this is the shade of purple. I feel like it's a bit too light. Okay. I would like for the 400 level to have a good contrast against the black. So um, I have an idea. All right. I have an idea. Let's, let's use, is it okay if we use this color as a base? The purple. Yeah, this shade, this shade here. Okay, yeah, let's go with it. The 600, yeah. Yeah, this, oh wait, it is already doing that. But then it's, I feel it's still a bit too light. Um, you want so I'm gonna inspect this a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I'd like, a, I'd like a 400 level color that's not too like, you know, not too light. Um, okay, so what are we looking for here in the dev tools? Um, Something that is, I like the background color of this color, of this, of this, at least this 500. Okay. Can I get the RGB? Okay, it's this guy. All right. Okay, let's, let's try, let's try using this as the base. 500. Okay, let's go with that. Okay. All right, this is close. All right, so let's copy this JS object. And... Let's create our custom theme. I will now teach right. you how to create a custom theme. Uh, custom theme. Custom themed.js. This is in the root? So, yeah, I, you can put it anywhere you want. I just put it here okay. <laughs> in the root. So, for exp so the theme that we're using follows the theme UI specification. Okay. Theme UI. Um, so theme UI is a, is a, is a specification for building out like, um, um, design token scales. Okay. So if you, if you, you can, if you can Google it, maybe see if you can find yeah, uh, I... something on it. So it should have different like options. Like you can have colors, you can have font sizes, you can have spacing between elements. So in our case, the fields that we want to mutate are the colors, right? So under colors. Let's create a color. We wanted to call it purple, right? Purple. And then we can paste our, our JS object here. Awesome. So now we have uh, our purple. The guy is good to go. Oh, um, wow. Then we also wanted to get a, a green, right? Yeah, a green. A green. A green. Um, Chakra UI already has a green. I think maybe you might like that shade of green. Let's see. Let's see that shade of green. Um, I feel like uh, it's a bit too light. Yeah. Oh, wait. Let, yeah, let's look at this. This one. Oh, this one. Yeah. I like the, the six, 600 or the 700. I can't really pick. But this I'm one here. Sure. All right. I don't know if that would go with what we've picked for, for purple. Let's try well, it out. Let's, let's try it. Let's try it. I mean, yeah. it's, not, it's, not, it's not a bad... Um, it's, it's not life or death or anything. Yeah. Yeah, um, this color seems, okay, do you like this shade of green? I think it looks nice. I think it's interesting. Although it's still that? like the, uh, this is the, uh, the, the green that we chose here in our okay. theme. It was one of the darker shades of green. So mm. I'm thinking let's use a, a slightly lighter version because um, 
I I feel like the spacing that smart swatch puts between colors is not so like goody goody. Okay, I think this is this is a this is a fairly good like yeah these spread. are good steps up yeah. All right, so in this case, this is an example of like a color that we already have in Chakra UI view, but you can overwrite right. So all the greens in Chakra UI view will now use your green, this green here. Nice. So. Already now you have you have like a lot of flexibility just customizing your like you putting in values in your design system. Another thing maybe do you have like a, a choice in fonts that you would like or we can add fonts later as well or mm. you want to add it now? I can show you how to do it. It's a good a good opportunity too. Okay, yeah, let's 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 hit up Google Fonts. Let me look at Google Fonts. What do you usually use for fonts? Yeah. I also use Google Fonts. Sometimes I, I download them. It depends on the project. In China, we don't have Google Fonts, so Ooh, I yeah. download the font and like bundle it with the project. Yeah. Um, I like this font. This oh Kumba, yeah, that's really Kumba. nice. Kumsan. It looks nice. Kumsans. Um, I've never used it before. Oh, it has a nice. It has some really nice, uh, sensible defaults. So I'll select this style. I will also select this, and I will also select this. And I'd like to embed, so I will take the href. So in Nux.js, you can um, you can append like you can add new values by adding it in the head here. Okay. So in this case, we want to. This is a style sheet. I know this is a style sheet. It is um, the href is this URL that we just copied, and I think that is it. That's, that's pretty it, cool. Right? Yeah, that's it. Is that it? Yep. It is, right? Yeah. Okay, then we need to get the font family here. Kumsans. Kumsans. Right? Dope. That's a nice name. So, um, yeah, it is. So, I'm going to get like the custom theme. Okay. And let's... So, I already have colors. So, I'm going to put fonts up here. So, I'm going to say fonts. Is it font family or fonts? Um, I forget the name of the theme key, so I'll have to search the, the docs as well. Um, extending theme, I think it's fonts. It okay, yeah, it's fonts. Fonts. Fonts, right? So you can change the heading, you can change the the body, you can change the mono fonts. So I'm oh. just going to copy this guy. One, you can set breakpoints also. That was nice. Yeah, you can also you can also set the breakpoints, which is really really awesome. I like these. I think they're sensible. Uh, they're pretty, I've never, I actually never had to modify them myself. Um, cool. And then I think I forgot the name of the font. It was called Kum Sans. Kum Sans. Sans, Sans Serif. Serif. Okay. Cool. I'll then replace this here. I will also use um, double quotes instead. And Why? I'll use the same value for the body. Um, because so this string is actually going to be inserted in your CSS and you can see here that here it's using quotes. So oh, in yeah. CSS, if you use a double quote or single quote, like it really doesn't matter. Um, you know, I like Menlo as well. Cool. So um, then next thing we need to do is we need to import this and extend our theme in our next config. So um, let's import a custom theme or let's call it in Cheeto theme. Yes. Cheeto theme import from uh, <laughs> important Cheeto theme from uh, this is a custom custom theme dot js yeah awesome so in Cheeto theme we will then come into here uh, let's create an option called chakra so in in Nux JS you can um, we created an option called chakra UI in the Nux conf the chakra in the Nux config so there's an option in the theme called extend theme like this, and you give it your theme object. Interesting. Right. And so I can show you how that works here in the, in the docs is a section called extending theme. And uh, if you're using a normal view CLI, when you use view use chakra, uh, you can pass your custom theme inside here like this. And oh, yeah. All your values will be reflected. Cool. And just to prove that it works, let's see if we can get our purple color inside uh, this box here. So we'll set our BG. Has it finished rebuilding? Oh, it's rebuilding. Mm, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I was I was excited. Not yet. Loading screens, more loading screens. 
Awesome. Done, done, done. Ah, great. Done. Awesome. So let's start by setting our background color. So the way you can now access these values in the theme, for example, we just added a purple. Chakra UI doesn't have purple in the theme, in the default. It has an indigo. Yeah. So we can now set the background color of our purple to purple.500. So this means you're taking the purple from your colors and then you want to get the 500 key, well, I love which is that this value here. Thing. Right? Yeah. yeah. So now if you ever change these values, you, you just need to come into the code and change the name. You don't need to like search hex codes or, or something beautiful. like that, right? And just to prove that it works, let's save the file and it should, it should update 95%. Ooh. Yay, great, awesome. There we go. We have, we have liftoff, this, this really excites me. 